What's going on? I'm Sam and today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. So I had this video pop up for me and the only words that I could read were hi to screw DIY. I could tell what was going on with the thumbnail but of course I had to click it and see if it was possible. It wasn't clickbait at all. What was in the thumbnail is exactly what they did and they seem to do it pretty perfectly and easily. Which got me thinking, there's no way I'd be able to do that. It looks really hard so I just kind of threw the idea away. Then I realized I have my own YouTube channel. Why not just try it for myself and if I fail miserably, it's good content. If I get it to work, I have a cool new technique for woodworking. If you've seen some of my recent desk builds, you might know that I love pocket screws. And I think pocket screws are still going to be the better choice for a lot of the work that I do, which is far and few in between. But I really want to give this a try and see what happens. So I've already gathered everything that I need for this, mainly a chisel, drill bit, countersink, and the screws. I really wanted to try this because I had the chisel laying out for a couple days, but I've held off and I haven't tried it yet. So what you're about to see is my first attempt to do this. And I'm pretty sure that no matter how long I take on this, I'm not going to be able to get it done right, but I'm going to try as best as I can. So without talking anymore, let's just see if I can do this thing. Okay, so I should be able to peel this up. Oh my gosh. I need a clamp. Okay, let's try this again, but a little safer. Oh man, this is kind of what I thought would happen, though I do have cheap wood. I'm just going to make some marks and, and see if that helps at all. Kind of cheating. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did I get it? My wood is not as soft as his. Oh no. I'm going to go way back on this one. You can't go too shallow, but you also can't go too deep. So I think I'm gonna, oh my gosh. This looks so much worse than the one online, but I'm actually doing it. So I should be able to drill my pilot hole. And then countersink it. Wow. It might not be pretty, but for one of my first attempts, I think this is pretty good. And then just run the screw in. Ooh. Okay, so then all I would do is put some wood glue in here and clamp it. That's not as bad as I first thought, though you can definitely see where I cut it with the razor. That was super promising. I'm gonna try this again and see if my next attempt is better. But first, I'm gonna use this pull saw that I bought because one of the other techniques he shows is using a dowel to fill the hole. Now this isn't a new technique by far, I know it works, but I bought this pull saw and I haven't been able to use it yet. So I'm super excited to just try it out and you know, show this technique as well. I have three eighths inch dowels. So what I'll do is I'll pre-drill my screw hole bore it out with the 3 8 inch drill bit, put the screw into the hole, then I'll glue the dowel into the screw bit and use the pull saw to cut it flush. So pre-drilled hole, bore it out with the 3 8 probably went a little slow on that and chipped it, but that's fine for what I'm doing. So this is when the screw gets run in. So now you can see the screw head in there. And what I'll do is I'll just get this dowel and simply glue it in. I probably would have made this hole a little tighter if it was anything other than a quick test. And then I'll just let that dry, come back and flush cut it. I've really been looking forward to using this. I've had it for at least a few weeks now. I'm going to leave the Amazon link in the description if you want to check it out. It's one of the smaller pull saws, but for everything I do, it's going to be more than enough. At least for right now. I feel like I could have done a lot better than this first test. And I think what 
would help. See what I did there? Would be higher quality woods, but I'm working with what I got in the shop, so I'm just gonna try it one more time with the same type of wood. This time I'm not gonna use the razor blade. I'm gonna go just a little bit slower and try using a lot more control. Actually, a nicer chisel might help a little too. Ah! Oh, there it goes, though. Like all chisel work, it just seems like the angle is one of the most important things. Though my cuts are not nearly as clean as his were. Let me try a few more just for practice. I'm getting deeper as I go, which I know is the angle. I feel like a little work and I could get better. Oh, this one's pretty shallow. I like this. Wow. Ah, oh yeah, when I go up, it just completely destroys it. I need to remember to keep this angle nice. Nope. Nope. I just broke that one. Oh wow, this thin one is nice. So it's time to look at this first one and I had clamped it kind of funny just cause I left the screw sticking out of the bottom. So that's really not that bad. You can see a little bit where the razor blade I used went but with some sanding that shouldn't look too bad. Oh wow, that's really not that bad. The only problem I'm having with this technique is if you accidentally take off a chunk, then you have to go and fix that. Okay, I think this dowel is dried enough to try my new saw. Like the name suggests, these saws only cut on the pull stroke. So they're easy to control and they're very, very flexible so they can lay flat against the wood and cut things very flush. That worked really well, and after a little bit of sanding, I think that looks pretty good. Though I'm really not surprised, this is exactly what I expected. And the reason I had bought this saw and these dowels are actually for the pocket joinery that I do. Because instead of buying these for like $6, it's a lot easier to buy these for 50 cents and just cut them to length. I'm gonna try this one more time, and I think this wood's a little bit higher quality, at least than that white wood that I had been using. I don't really know wood that well, so I have no idea what type it is, but I'm just gonna try it. Okay, I think this wood's actually a lot harder. I'm having trouble just getting it started. Okay, there we go. I'm definitely getting better the more I do it. And that's almost a consistent thickness so far. So this is really awesome. I didn't even imagine I'd get close to what this guy was able to do. Even my third attempt, I was able to get one done, even though it didn't look super pretty. I didn't think even after playing with this for hours that I would be able to get that far. I still gotta wait for this to dry, then we'll come back and see how it looks. And while I'm waiting for these to dry, I'll just make a quick clickbait thumbnail. I'm thinking maybe a pickaxe? Oh yeah, that looks about right. Let's see, what does the thumbnail on the original look like? So it shows a real clean screw going in there, which I think I can mirror like this. Okay, that looks looks about legit. 
Then I might come back and see if I can actually close this up. So I was going to try and glue this wood back down and make it into a hidden screw hole. But I was thinking, why not just take the thumbnail to the next level and put this bolt in instead of the drywall screw? I'd rather have a pretty crazy thumbnail. Okay, moment of truth. No matter how these turn out, I'm not doing them again. I'm sure I'd only get better with more practice, but I ran out of time tonight, so I'm gonna see how this first one in the cheap wood did. I forgot there's actually two on here. They look pretty bad with what they picked up from the clamps, but a little bit of sanding should make it look a whole lot better. I just realized I bought this thing for like 40 bucks a while back. It's brushless, cordless, and I've never even used it. I have tons of these circular sanding pads, so I'm going to throw one on and finally give this thing a test. I should have let the glue dry a little more. You can see where it soaked through all the joints. As long as the discoloring goes away, it's gonna look really good when it dries. That sander was a whole lot easier than hand sanding, but I had used so much glue, I think I started sanding this way too early. I'm not very patient, so we'll check on that again in a few days, but for now, I wanna see what this second one looks like. That one looks like it's gonna be way better, but I'm gonna let it dry just a little more before sanding. I was just about to leave here when I saw another YouTube video doing the same sort of trick, just a little different. Normally, I would have ignored this, but one of the problems I was having was having the material curl up nicely. He mentioned putting water on the wood, which makes a ton of sense because water makes wood more flexible. So I'm going to try his method real quick. He was showing it in the middle of the wood, which I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to put the screw in the middle of the wood. I'm going to wet the wood first and see how that turns out. So I'll just wet the wood a little bit. Is that too much water? I wish to wet the wood first so it's easier to bend the wood back. Oh, I think I used way too much water. Yeah, okay, you can see it's a little wet. I'll hammer the chisel like he did. I'll drill and countersink the hole before putting this screw in. I'll put the glue down. Oh, maybe I didn't get it quite wet enough. Everything's fixable with wood glue. And then I'll do exactly what he did, which is put masking tape on top, another board, and then clamp it. I'm not sure about this one actually, but it shouldn't be too bad. So tomorrow I will post what happens right here. So now it's a couple days later. I'm going to take the clamps off and see what these joints look like. Oh no! I ruined the whole thing! Ah! I can't believe the glue stuck so well to the clamp. I ended up ripping a little bit off of this one. Forgot about this guy. It looks pretty good other than the fact you can see where the screw head is. I think I've been using way too much glue on these joints. It might have turned out a little bit better if I didn't use quite so much glue. And I was also thinking it might be the type of glue I was using because I've been using the water resistant version instead of just the normal version. I really don't know enough about wood glue to know if that would have made a difference or not. Though when I took the clamps off this last one I did, I was really happy with how it turned out. This one disappeared pretty well other than a discoloration along the end of that incision and the middle where it actually broke in half. If I try this again, I'm going to use regular wood glue instead of the water resistant version just to see if it works any better. The discoloration on this first piece went away a little bit, but I did end up sanding way too deep and now you can pretty much see that screw head, which defeats the whole purpose. They all still turned out way better than I thought they would, so I'm very happy with this technique. Because even the one I used the filler material on, I think that's more noticeable than 
any of these other ones I've done so far. I hope you enjoyed this video because I know I really enjoyed doing this. I want to do a couple more woodworking projects in the future and I have a couple planned. I'm actually going to be working on one right now. I gotta say that was awesome. I had very low hopes that I would be able to do this though it looks like I was able to do it pretty well and with very little practice as well. I'm pretty sure I attempted this less than 10 times with four or five of those times resulting in the chisel slipping and chipping out wood like I wasn't supposed to. And all the other times where I was able to actually do the pocket, it worked pretty good. I broke the pocket a little bit on one of them, but still a little more practice and I'd be able to get this technique down. I might not end up using it much if at all, but I'll definitely keep it in my arsenal of things that I can do for different joints. This video was a lot of fun to make. I thought it was going to be a complete failure which still would have been fun but it worked out so much better than I thought. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Hey Griffin I did some woodworking. We can go home now. You ready? Let's go home Griffin. Good boy let's go. Oh, you got your ball?